to have you with us. First tonight, how WA's job crisis is forcing some bosses to search overseas for workers. Restaurants and bars have been worst hit, with the staff shortages impacting on service and expansion of the industry. It's estimated 5,000 extra employees will be needed in the next 12 months. And as Graham Butler reports from Dublin, there are queues of Irish workers ready to pack up and head to Perth. We need staff now. Uh, we need them right now. We're looking for housekeeping staff. We're looking for reception staff people who can work behind our bars. We need to get workers, otherwise we don't have a business. So we need to go overseas and get workers. WA is in the grip of a staffing crisis and hotels, restaurants and bars are bearing the brunt of it. If you've ever waited for a beer or found service a bit lacking, you won't be surprised to hear there's a shortfall of 5,000 staff. The pressure is on. Uh, hoteliers, restaurateurs who are here are talking about needing to hire chefs, needing to hire food and beverage staff, and, and they need them now. Staff shortages in Perth are so bad that bosses have turned he up to the pubs and restaurants of Dublin to find workers willing to do the jobs West Australians just don't want. They're jobs that we'd love to be able to give to Australians, that we'd want to be able to give to Australians first. But in this situation, uh, we have to go to places like Ireland to find staff. Bradley Woods from the Australian Hotels Association in Perth has led the charge to Ireland. With him are pub and restaurant owners hoping to convince Irish workers to come and take up jobs in WA. Only the biggest hits. Dublin's hit music station, FM 104. Are you a qualified chef or cook? Western Australia has thousands of hospitality jobs and there is a need for skilled chefs and cooks. This is a pretty drastic step to have to go overseas to source and promote employment in the state. Um, it's, it's probably the toughest that I've seen it certainly in 20 years in terms of labour and, and staff shortages. Andrew McFeely and Jennifer Harrison have answered the call. Both already work long hours in hospitality and live in a bedsit apartment in Dublin. They're hoping a move to Perth will improve their lifestyle. Just something different, you know, to be able to go to the beach on your day off and like people think like Ireland and the weather, but it really does have a big impact on your life. You can never plan anything. I don't want to live to work, I want to work to live. The couple has joined hundreds of other job seekers at the AHA seminars in Dublin. It seems there's no shortage of Irish workers willing to take on the jobs it seems Aussies don't want. They're here to hear about WA and the jobs on offer. Already about 30,000 Irish people head to Australia on working holiday visas. But of those, only around 7% come to WA. And that's what the seminars in Dublin are trying to tap into. This afternoon we want to present to you a whole range of information, but more importantly, uh, to convince you why Western Australia is the most uh, wonderful and extraordinary place in the world in which to work, travel and holiday. It's not just the Pan Pacific Perth that's looking for staff, obviously a lot of the other five star properties within Perth, the Heights, the Hiltons um, and, and Crown and, and those sort of places are also looking for, for staff. So we're all looking for um, skilled and um, unskilled staff as well. It's an optimism that many of these Irish people haven't heard for a long time, if ever. Not to mention, in Australia, they can earn roughly double the pay. It's enough to convince many of them to pack up and head down under. For Andrew and Jennifer, it's cemented their decision to take the plunge. And then wanting us to go. Yeah, yeah, which is great, because like, normally, like here at the moment, you feel like, you know, like if you have a job, you're lucky, whereas there, they want you to work there. I'm gobsmacked at the amount of jobs that are going. That's that's amazing. Like we're going. You going? Definitely yeah. going. Yeah. Looks like it's massive booming over there. So that's where you want to be. Where the jobs are. They're just the sort of staff pub owners like Bob Ramage is hoping to attract. You'll normally find Bob at his Ocean Centre hotel in Geraldton, but he's also made the trek to Ireland to find staff. We hope to have them coming in to WA rather than to the eastern states if we can have those same sort of people who have been coming and increase that number, we think it will help our situation quite considerably. We need to really come over here and try and get people to come from overseas to West Australia to work. Ashok Parekh owns several hotels in Kalgoorlie. He's also returned to his native island to convince others to follow in his footsteps and try the luck of the Irish 
in the lucky country. If we can't get workers in Australia to come from the eastern states to West Australia, we need to get workers. Otherwise, we don't have a business. So we need to go overseas and get workers. Ireland is one of the best places in the world to get workers, and we need them to come to Australia and work for us. So we've, as employers, we've got a business. I think it possibly could get much worse, but it's definitely the worst it's been that I, that I know of. Sean Reid owns the breakwater in Hillary's. He also hails from Ireland. They do have a sense of adventure, the Irish, they're going to be coming to Australia anyway. Um, a lot of them on a working visa, so we're just trying to lure them into WA uh, first, you know, and um, let them know that there are jobs available for them in hospitality, which is a great career. These employers could have gone anywhere in the world to try and recruit staff, but they've come here to Ireland for a very good reason. The workers here are already highly trained in hospitality. There's no language barrier and visas are easy to organise. But also, Ireland is experiencing high unemployment. The youth unemployment rate at the moment is sitting at 39%. We're in the middle of the greatest economic recession of our lifetime of the last 30, 40 years. Claire Murphy is a journalist at Dublin's Evening Herald newspaper. She says there are plenty of Irish hospitality workers keen to head down under. There's vast swathes of people who have been left unemployed by hotels that have closed down during the boom years and are desperate to get to work. The invasion of Aussie bosses is making news in Ireland. Down at the Oval Bar in downtown Dublin, the Guinness is flowing and punters like Neil Fox are poring over the paper, reading about jobs in WA. Would you actually pack up and leave here and go all the way out there to do it? Yeah, after right opportunity, come up, absolutely. Yeah. There's no shortage of trained hospitality staff in Ireland, and they're pretty keen to share their skills with Aussies. And you grab it there, Graham. Then I get up to about here. Up to there, and then turn yeah, it off. And then one smooth movement. And right up there. There she goes. There you go. Done. About right, and he would settle there with the rest of them. That's all right. I wonder why we can't do that. Nice. That's good. We're going to grab it with two hands now today. We were coming here this morning, we were like, let's go follow our dream. <laughs> we're here. Graham Butler reporting there from Ireland, and you can find details of jobs available on our website.